Singapore Chinese Girls School, Mrs. Tay Po Im, International Vice President, Asia Fellowship of the Girls Brigade, and Vice President, Girls Brigade Singapore. Ms. He Kang Chin, International Vice Patron, Honorary Life Member, Girls Brigade Singapore, Chairperson of Corporate Services, Girls Brigade Singapore. Mrs. Sally Chu, President of the Girls Brigade Singapore. Mrs. Evangeline Chong, Brigade Commissioner of the Girls Brigade Singapore. Ms. Chao Yuan Ping, Assistant Brigade Commissioner of the South Zone, Girls Brigade Singapore. Ms. Lim So Ping, Assistant Brigade Commissioner of the North Zone, Girls Brigade Singapore. Mrs. Levine Lau, Chairperson of the Primary Program, Girls Brigade Singapore. Mrs. Diana Chi, Immediate Past Chairperson of Secondary Programs, Girls Brigade Singapore. Guests, parents, and the girls of the 84th Company, thank you so much for gracing our enrollment to your presence today. Bear with me as I begin with this very abstract question. Why are you here? It's a question of what led you here today to celebrate the enrollment of our recruits of 2016. It's a question I pondered myself over the course of the last three years, and especially in the days leading up to today. You see, in secondary one, I was definitely afraid that my blank of a 12 skills would mark me unqualified to join any CCA. I signed up for GB, my safety net, in case all else failed. <laughs> all else did fail. <laughs> 13 years old, with a handful of misconstrued ideas about uniform groups, I began searching high and low for a way out of GB. For the best part of my first year, I was the awkward, fumbling girl, with lips as tight as drawstrings, and the heart of discontentment, scouting around, trying to switch out of GP. So then, why am I still here? What momentous change convinced me to stay here, to stay on? Made it so that when secondary two rolled around, I, decked in my first Chevron, lanyard, and the rank of Lance Corporal, wouldn't have let go of GB, even if every single CCA had been paraded in front of me. It was a small gesture, really, that convinced me and changed everything about how I perceived of the girls' brigade. In 2013, I banged off my first day of annual camp because I was ill. Grace, the chairperson of GB then, called me in the evening when I was reveling in the feel of being at home instead of school. When I answered my phone, it was to the cacophony of dinner in the background and the clear, ringing voices of my seniors shouting my name over the din. They had taken the time while running the camp and having their meals to call me and make sure I was feeling well. Get better soon, Sandra, they said to me, so that we can see you tomorrow. And that is probably when I fell in love properly with GB. And I haven't fallen out of love since. The morning after that phone call, I reported to the remainder of the camp and was warmly greeted by my squad. My seniors made me feel like I belonged, like I had a place in GB. If they were strict on me, it was because they knew I had a role to play, standards to meet, and occasions to rise to. I wanted to be the senior they were to me, and this has been my motivation to give my all to GB. I stand here before you because you, the spirit, the life of the company, sit here before me, and you will always come before me. You have given me incredible support over the past year when you entrusted me with the duties of chairperson. Even after allowing me to be your leader, you forgave my mistakes and gifted me with countless opportunities to serve you. I can only pray that I repaid your understanding, your care, and your compassion twofold. To the officers who facilitated my growth, we never thank you enough. You are there for us, whether through victory or through trial. You stand, sorry, you watch us stand tall, you watch us take flight, and sometimes you watch us come crashing to earth. But you make sure we stagger back up help us dust off and rejoin the fight. You have been a constant of dignity and equanimity in my past three years, and for that, I cannot give enough thanks. Always fronting any effort by example, you are the leaders I hope to come shy of emulating in the future. The countless lessons you have imparted on me, which I cannot put to words, will be indelible marks I carry with me as I venture out of GB, reminding me now and again what it means to be a leader of and servant to others. To the Sec Force, it's been a journey. I'm so very grateful that I could spend it with you. You taught me how to have fun, when all I knew back then was how to slap on a, so a somber face. You have given me years worth of laughter and memories of doing absurd things just because. You're there when I mess up, when I fret over petty things, and remind me, sometimes with harsh reality checks, 
that the end of the world isn't heralded by a looming deadline or a slip of the tongue. <laughs> You've humbled and grounded me and kept me sane. We've been through camps and competitions together and I wouldn't trade any of you for the world. You're all just crazy. <laughs> There's no other word to describe the first juniors I ever had. You have proven as two levels, to be responsible yet boisterous. Unpredictable but spontaneous and proactive. With each addition of your proofs to GB, I worried incessantly that you wouldn't like me. But with every passing interaction I have with you, be it in GB or in the corridors when we pass when we brush shoulders, has always left me beaming. You are generous and open-handed with your smiles. Share the weirdest, most hilarious inside jokes, and really know how to surprise me. You have been the joy of my life since 2014 and 2015, and I am comforted in the knowledge that we leave the CCA in your capable hands. And to the recruits, the ones that we celebrate today, you might be the youngest amongst us, but you are by no means the smallest. Teetering on the threshold of the next chapter of your lives, as enrolled members of the Girls' Brigade, you might not yet be sure of your place within the community. It might take you some time to grow accustomed to the Brigade, in your uniform, but in time, you'll find your role here, in the company you'll forge for yourselves and take pride in. Not too long ago, recruits, I sat where you do now. I sat there and listened to an intimidating sec four give a testimonial about her years in GB I had missed. All I knew then was that three years seemed like an eternity. That's 12 school terms, eight long holidays, eight GB camps, and an endless number of tests. It's enough time for that sheen of frost on new relationships to tour, for friendships and bonds to peak, for boundless blunders to be made. But looking back now, I see that, really, three years are a blink. Three years are, sorry, three years once spent can never be reclaimed. I didn't think then that I would take my senior's place here at this platform. I didn't want to be in the company, so much less here. But today, I am here. And I'm not ready to let it go of anything yet. Don't blink or you'll miss it. That's the common refrain. But I blinked, and this world win of a term draws to a close. I'm still going to miss the 84th company with all of my heart, more than I could ever place into speech. Thank you for your kind attention, for making my time in the Girls' Brigade absolutely amazing, and for making me a better person through your friendship. I hope fervently that I've done the same for you. Thank you.